I've been asked to ask you about a lunch at Trinity Mirror on the 20th of September 2002, mm -hmm. okay, which um, was hosted, I think, by Sir Victor Blank. I don't know precisely how many people were there. I would guess it was probably a dozen or so. Uh, the other people there were Sir Victor Blank, as I say, who was the host, who I think was the chairman of Trinity Mirror, Piers Morgan, the then editor of the Sunday Mirror, who, a woman whose name I, I've unfortunately now um, forgotten, um, Ulrika Johnson, Philip Green. Mr Morgan in particular, did he say anything during the course of this luncheon which was of interest or unusual? Well, it's the, really the only... Uh, there were two reasons I remembered the lunch. One was that it was so unusual to be invited into such a bestiary. Uh, the second of which was that I was really struck by something that Piers Morgan said at lunch. I was seated, as far as I recall, between him on my left and the editor of the Sunday Mirror on my right. And Ulrika Johnson was seated opposite, next, next to, semi-next to, almost next to um, Philip Green and Victor Blank on her other side, I think. And Morgan said, to all teasing Ulrika... Uh, that he knew what had happened in conversations between her and Sven Juran Eriksson. And he went into this mock Swedish accent. Now, I don't know whether he was repeating a conversation that he had heard or he was imagining this conversation. In fact, to be fair to him, I think we should accept both possibilities that he probably was imagining it. It was a rather bad parody. Um, so, yeah, I do remember it quite, and I was quite struck by it because uh, I'm rather wet behind the ears in many of these things. I didn't know that that sort of thing went on. And indeed, when he then turned to me and said, have you got a mobile phone? I said, yes. And he said, have you got a security setting on the, on the message board? bit of it. I don't think it was called voicemail in those days. Um, I didn't know what he was talking about and he said he then explained that the way to get access to people's messages was to go to the factory default setting and press either 000 or 1234 uh, and that if you didn't put on your own code, his words you're a fool. Now, I don't know whether he's talking about whether he was making this up, whether making up the conversation, but it was clearly something that he was familiar with, and I, I wasn't. I didn't know, I did, I didn't know that this, uh, this went on. If you were to say as a journalist you damn well should have known it was going on, I'd have to accept the criticism.